trust. This is breaking news from News 8. Good morning. It is 37 degrees at 8.55. That breaking news in Honeyoy Falls. Crews searching for a missing MCC student. 19-year-old Madeline Rose was last seen around 9.30 last night. We are expecting an update from police shortly. According to the Monroe County Sheriff's Office, she took off on foot from the area of Pride Street and Cheese Factory Road. James Gilbert is there live with the very latest on the search. James. Mark and Leah, that's exactly where I am. That's really where the hub of the search has been all night long. Lots of activity behind me. We've seen drones in the air. We've seen horseback. We've seen uh, ATVs. We've seen even civilians walking around and helping in the search to find Madeline Rose. As you mentioned, she left last night from her home. Apparently, after a family dispute, she left without shoes on. She left without a jacket on. She left without her wallet. She also walked out the door without her cell phone. Remember, she's 19 years old, a student at MCC. Now, she walked out without her cell phone. I asked the police and the sheriff's office, have they, do they have her cell phone and how that is going to help in their search? Indeed, it's one of the resources we have available to us. Uh, as the investigation progresses, deputies on scene look at all the avenues of information they have. Uh, that would include her phone. Her family is involved as well in helping us get access to all the information we can to help find out where she is. So, of course, really hypothermia is the biggest concern. If she has been out all night, it's very cold out. Temperatures in the 30s. We're starting to feel a little bit of a wind pickup, so it could feel like the 20s. Search will continue for the rest of the afternoon, really morning and afternoon. And as you mentioned, we'll have a police briefing. Of course, we'll put on Facebook Live and we'll stream that uh, in the next couple of minutes. Mark, Leah? All right, yeah, hopefully they find her safe and sound. Thank you, James, for that update. And we'll continue.